Hi guys! So today I wanted to film a November planner update for blog ember day number 24. Yep, because this is going up tomorrow and today's the 23rd. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday if you're watching this on the day that it gets uploaded. And if you are American, I hope that you're going to have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. Because I am excited for Thanksgiving. Super excited. <laughs> I love food, so of course I am. But for the planner update, I just want to flip you guys through the weeks I did in November, talk to you guys about what worked for me, what didn't, what I want to try out in the month of December, and just some planner chat. And then I'm also going to take you through how I set up my blog planner for this month, because I did it a little differently from last month. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's just get started. So this is my happy planner. I'm going to be using this until the end of December. So, I have a... Um, a plan with me up for every single week in November so far, um, because obviously, well, I could go around the full last week of November, so I have a plan with me up for every single week of November, um, because I did that for Blog Ember. So let's just start with the November tab. And the happy planner that I got, this is what the November tab looks like. So you have your, like, little dashboard that says November birthday, special events, important dates, don't forget November goals, and then it lists the holidays for this month, so it has Veterans Day and Thanksgiving, and I didn't fill this out. I haven't been filling this out for the past couple of months. You can see in October, I didn't fill it out. Did I filled it out a little bit in September, but um, after August, I just, wait, August and in July, I really set it up, so <laughs> this was it in July, but... For November, I did not set it up, so <laughs> that is blank. I think I just, I don't like how specific it is because it's kind of confusing to my brain. Like, what qualifies as special events? What qualifies as important dates? I don't usually have overarching monthly goals a lot. <laughs> I mean, I do, I just, they're more like to-dos, I don't know, this just kind of confuses me. And I'm glad that I got a Plum Paper for next year because Plum Paper did kind of a similar thing. Let me show you guys to a blank month. Kind of a similar thing on the back of their dividers, but I like the way this is set up a lot more. So you have your goals for the month, and I'll probably just put my to-dos in there. Your birthdays, events, and things to remember. So it's all very... <laughs> You know, it's not too specific. I can just list whatever I want to list. And it gives you two blank ones to list whatever you want to list. So, I think I'm going to use this a lot more once I get my plum paper. But in my happy planner, I just never feel the inclination to fill it up. And then this is the divider. And I don't decorate these dividers because they're gorgeous. They don't need to be decorated. And flipping to the monthly. This was my month set up but you guys can't see very well so I'm sorry about that but I didn't do much to it I didn't do anything to the sidebar except added these two stickers which it bothers me every time I flip to this page that they're so off-centered um, I added some washi up at the top and then I wash it off the days that I'm not going to be in school so we were off the second and third then we were off for Veterans Day and we're off the 26th and the 27th for Thanksgiving and then I just added all these, like, family stickers because, you know, you usually see family in November <laughs> um, for Thanksgiving anyway. At least that's what we usually do. So, I think next month in my December monthly, I'm thinking of picking up the colored versions of the Stadler pens because I really like these pens. I've been using them for the past couple of weeks, which you guys would have seen in my plan with me for this month. And I really like this pen. So I'm thinking of picking up like either the 10 or the 20 pack of colors and trying to do something a little bit different with my um, monthly spread by color coding it. I think that will work out a lot better for me because I liked it in July. Uh, my monthly in July for, you know, big events. But I wasn't going to school then. So I think for December I'm going to use it mostly for school and this way I can, you know, look ahead 
because I love my week to week planning, but it's really hard to look ahead and see what's happening in future weeks because you're so focused on that week. So I really want to try to be able to utilize my monthly a little bit more. So I think I'm going to gonna try color coding it. And if you guys would like to see a video on how I do that for my December monthly, just let me know and I'll do that for you. But for right now, all I have on my December monthly is I wash it off my Christmas break and this really pretty gold foil washi that I got at Target. But, yeah, so my November, my November monthly for this month was a fail. <laughs> but this was my first week in November. I have a plan with me on this, so I will link it down below. And let's just go half week by half week. So I did something a little different this week, and I put checklists on every single day and that really really worked for me if you guys have watched my plan with me you know that I have been doing this every single week since I started doing this the first week and it works perfectly because it really keeps me on track I just write my to do's check them off I put a little arrow which I don't know if you can see that really well but I put a little arrow if I need to move it to the next day and I put a little x if I don't need to do it at all like ever <laughs> like I was like oh I'm gonna do this and then change my mind so I put a little x so and I don't have to do it ever and yeah, that's basically that's all kind of memorable about this week. I also put a full box on every day and randomly decorated with sock monkeys. This was the purple paisley from Hello Emma Co. in the Happy Planner size because Hello Emma Co. makes Happy Planner stickers. So if you're a Happy Planner gal, I would definitely recommend her shop. I'll leave that link down below. But I think she discontinued the set because um, she started reformatting her sticker sheets and some of them she just discontinued so I think she discontinued this set so if not I will link it down below but I'm pretty sure it was discontinued um, so I used that kit for this week and it worked out perfectly for me I also for my sidebar this was a little iffy I did a full box up here and like I said I started randomly decorating with sock monkeys and I did um, a full box checklist and put my to do's and my to buys and I did my social media checklist you will see I don't use those social media checklists too much anymore they're from Oh Hello Stationery Co and I just don't use them that much anymore because I don't really need them <laughs> um, I've been trying to post on Instagram every day and I've been getting better at that but I feel like this social media checklist doesn't do a really good job anymore it used to remind me a lot like I started using them at the beginning of October I believe yeah at the beginning of October and I still use them a lot and rely on them a lot but now I just don't so I'm gonna try to find a different sticker to remind me to Instagram every day but that doesn't work and here is the second week. I use another Hello Emma kit. This is the Vintage Floral Kit. And I do think she has this in the reformatted sheet. So I will link that direct kit down below. And she makes stickers for the Erin Condren Vertical, the Erin the Condren Horizontal, and the Happy Planner. So her weekly kits come in those three formats. So if you have any of those three planners, um, I would definitely recommend checking out her shops because her kits are so cute. And I do believe, I think she already stopped selling the Christmas ones because her shipping takes one to two weeks so it wouldn't get to you in time for Christmas anymore. But I know she has a New Year's kit up and she has a couple of winter kits up, I think. So I would recommend checking out her shop for that. Just get some New Year's stickers. And I do believe that she said she's doing a Black Friday sale. So you can follow her on Instagram and see what her Black Friday sale details are. Anyway, getting back to the planner. I did this kit and then I paired it with some stickers that I got from, I got them for my birthday, but I'm pretty sure the giver get, got them from Hobby Lobby. And they're just these really cool pop-up stickers. So there's this one, Life is Better with Friends, and this vintage butterfly, and this vintage like rose. And I just thought they went really nicely with the kit. So I used those and once again had the checklist on every day and I love them. I did something different with the sidebar this week. It just had an open-ended to-do list and I like that a lot better. I just really, it was a lot cleaner in my eyes to do it this way. So that's this week and I really love the way this week turned out. I really wish that Hello Emiko made um, plum, pan plum paper planner size stickers because I'm going to miss her shop so so much but I do recommend for those who are looking for happy planner stickers because she makes some really nice kits okay 
Now this week I didn't have a kit. This week I just used checklists from Hel oh, Hello Emma Co. because she sells them separately in the Happy Planner and Plum Paper, not Plum Paper, in EC vertical size. I don't know if she has checklists for the EC horizontal, but some people do sell checklists for the EC horizontal, but I don't know if she does. But this was a kit where I went back to my roots, as I like to say, and I used a Darice sticker book because I used to do that all the time. Here's my back to school week with a Dury sticker book. My last week of summer spread I used a Dury sticker book. Um, oh, this is the week that I moved. I used a um, another Dury sticker book with cute animals on bikes. So I used to do this a lot when I was first starting out to plan. I just think they're, oops, I have this one. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, July spread I did with the Anchors Away sticker book. And this one with the mermaid sticker book. I just used to use them all the time for decorative stickers because they're so perfect. They're a dollar. You can get like three or four spreads out of them because I have so many stickers in them. And I can show you my horrible stack I have of them. I picked up Halloween ones and I use these in Halloween. There's the summer one, the back to school one, the ride my bike one. And I have so many of these. And I've used them in spreads already. And you can see how many stickers I still have left. So I could do a whole nother spread with this next summer if I wanted to. And this was a dollar for 224 stickers. So they're such a good deal. I recommended them in my planner starter kit, which I will link that video down below. And I just think they're great for a starter or for a newbie or any type of planner because they have small stickers, they have big stickers, so you can over decorate, you can decorate just a little bit. So I just think it's nice because they're <laughs> Etsy's decorative stickers can be like three to five dollars for like a sheet of thirty stickers and that's just a better deal and you can use them all the time. So I do recommend those and I did use mine this week. This one was the Cool Cats one and I also have a plan with me on that, but for a close-up, I did another open-ended to-do list, and I can use these cute little paw prints from the sticker book as my, like, bullet points. I left a decorative sticker up top on some washi, and I did more of a spring-style spread to this. <laughs> I was trying to go for a fall theme, because it was one of my sticker books that had darker colors to it, but, you know, it ended up pretty springy. It ended up pretty springy-like, but I was still very happy with it. So once again, I just used these free, not free, <laughs> these are just the sheet of regular checklists from Hello Emma Co. These weren't tied to any specific set. This weekend banner um, is from Hello Emma Co. And once again, these just came in her sheet of weekend banner banners that are not tied to any specific specific set and then I just use some washi to create my own full boxes. I have this meeting sticker from Oh Hello Stationery Co. and this to do sticker from the Mambi sticker book and I really like the, this, the way this week turned out. It was very pretty, very functional and I'm really liking this way of planning with the checklist on every day and if there's some open spaces just doing a little bit of a decorative thing and it's really working out for me. So. That was that week, and this is the current week. I have a major fail of a plan with me up on this week because, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty week. I actually liked how this turned out. I thought about halfway through the video that I was going to end up hating this spread, but it was like, tried a lot of different things. I didn't really like the way the sidebar turned out this week. I put another social media sticker there just to take up the space. Um which today is Tuesday if you're wondering so that's why it's still mostly blank but Monday's really filled up but I put a social media checklist down just to like use up the rest of them I don't think I'm going to repurchase these and then I use these two um, half box checklists from the July set from Oh Hello Stationery Co to try to make a to-do list and it, I liked it because it gave me more lines but just looking how uneven the sidebar looks like that difference in the sticker um, I didn't really like that <laughs> I think that's why I like doing the open-ended ones because the widths match but these 
don't. There's obviously like a clear margin here. And it was just enough to bother me. I didn't put a decorative sticker up here. In fact, most of my decorative elements are rub-ons. So that was also something I was struggling do doing doing during the plan with me because I've never tried rub-ons before. So this is a very experimental week. But I do love the colors. I love the gold washi um, that I got from Target. And overall, I think once it's over... It won't be my favorite spread, but it'll still be cute. <laughs> and that's the end of November. Well, like I said, I'm not filling these dashboards out, unfortunately. I think they're such a great tool. I just don't like the way this one is set up. And then this is the December divider for the Mambi Happy Planner that I have. And I have the to Every Day is a Gift Planner. Um, so I have the December divider, and then I already showed the December monthly. But that is my happy plan in a nutshell. I'm happy because I've been using this a lot more. I've been loving the way I weekly plan, but I really need to find a way that I can monthly plan as well. So what you what do you guys put on your monthly spreads, and how do you plan them? Please leave me a comment down below so I can get some suggestions. Now, quickly going over my blog planner. This is a plum paper blog planner. I just got these gradient cover and it says Michelle XOXO at the bottom because that's the, my blog and YouTube. And I got the monthly planner. So this is my October monthly. This is how I used the dashboard. I just put my three goals for my blog and YouTube on the month. My blog to do's for the month. The blog series I was going to start or like do this month. Um, my top, the top post I wanted to get done, and then I never filled this out, but this was supposed to be for the top viewed post on my blog for that month, so I could see what you guys are liking. And I did my beginning stats, and I never filled this out, but that was supposed to be my ending stats. So this never ended up really working for me, because I realized I didn't really need it for my blog. I mostly use this for planning out, um my overall monthly content so I didn't really end up using utilizing this as much as I thought I did I also I, in December in November I mean I put washi to cover up the headers but I never actually filled it out so I'm gonna try to find a way to use this in December because I think this is such a great tool especially for what I was trying to use it for which is tracking your stats and tracking your top priorities for the month because um, sometimes I write a whole bunch of topic ideas for the month and then, you know, I never get around to them. Or sometimes I have to do certain things for that post to be able to be put up or, you know. So just having those top priorities and what, you, what post you really want to get done that month, I think, is helpful. So I'm going to try again in December, but I didn't fill it out for November. And then on the November notes page that you get at the beginning of the month, this is in every standard planner, you get the back of the divider dashboard, and then a notes page before your monthly spread. So this note page I just use to write planner ideas, and I actually have these filled out for months ahead. So this is my December ideas, I have some January ideas, some February ideas, no May ideas, I mean, no March ideas, but I do have some May ideas. So I really like using that notes page for, like, initial ideas that I have for that specific month. Or just posts I know I want to get done, and I can get it done in that time frame. So, there is that. And I really like being able to do that, because then it allows me to really plan ahead. And then this is how my monthly turned out for November. And last month in October, I tried to use a color coding key for my blog planner, and that just didn't work out very well. A, I was really hesitant to write things out in pen, because I changed my, post, um, my posting schedule all the time. Um, and B, sometimes they wouldn't fit in a category, so... Then I was like, oh, well, what do I write it in? So what I did for November is I wrote it in pencil, and I checked it off once it was uploaded or once it was posted or scheduled, and I really liked this idea of just writing it out in pencil because then I can, you know, have it tentative, and I can switch out when I need to, and then once I post it, I just put a little check mark to let myself know that I did it. So I really like this idea. 
Something I've been coming across is I haven't been using these note pages as much. Um, so for the monthly planner you get, let me go to a blank one, this is June. You get the highlights, the notes, your monthly spread on two pages, and your sidebar is just two blank lists, which I use those to write down posts that I know I want to do, but I don't have a specific day for them. So that way I don't have to keep flipping back and forth between this and that. So I put the post down here that I know that I really, 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 really want to do. I just don't know what day it is. So that way, when I'm like looking at my monthly, because like I said, in this plan I look at my monthly the most, I can just glance over at the sidebar and see any more ideas. And if I don't like any of the ideas on this list, I can go back to my original ideas for the entire month. So having that is a little, I know that can be a little confusing, like why would you put your ideas on two separate parts of your planner but it really helps me because once again it's like prioritizing these are the ones I really know I want to do and then these are just extra ideas <laughs> maybe not make sense to everybody but it makes sense to me so I have this set up here and I just write it in pencil and then what happens is behind every each monthly spread you get I think like six or seven pages of notes and that's what I really liked about this planner because behind those notes I could write post ideas not post ideas um posting details so like here I wrote October favorites and I listed my October favorites I wrote my planner starter kit and listed my ideas or the things I wanted to talk about in my planner starter kit and I do these for some posts but I find that sometimes I don't do this and I it's not I need to get into the habit of doing this for every single post because I find that I just sit in front of a camera and then or I start writing down the post and I know what my ideas are but once I go to write it down I forget everything I don't know how I want to phrase it you know where do I get the links from so I really want to get more into um, really planning out my posts through the notes pages. So I haven't been using them for October and November, but I want to change that in December and really try to use these up. And I've already started using it because I'm changing the way my site looks for December and making it more holiday festive. So I already wrote down my ideas for that and that's perfect. I'm going to try to use this more because you really do get an abundant of note pages. So you get one in the front of the month and one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you get 11 pages at the end, uh, like for every single month, including the one you get at the front. So I really, really like that, having all that room to plan and space things out, because that's what I really notice about wanting a blog planner, is you could put the post ideas in your regular planner, but you really have all this free space to plan everything out. So I'm really liking how I'm using it right now. I just want to utilize it more. So that's my goal for this planner in December. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this planner update. Um, please, once again, let me know what you guys use in your monthly planner and how you set it up because I really want to try to use that. And um, if you're a blogger or YouTuber, what do you do to get ready for your um, for filming and blogging like what do you plan out what you know just to make it super effective because I feel like it takes me a while to churn out these videos and you know really get it going and I think pre-planning will really help me with getting these out faster and more efficient for you guys so please let me know what you guys do in the down bar oh, well not in the down bar in the comments <laughs> well that's it I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful turkey day and Thanksgiving weekend um, if you're American if you're not I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if I didn't have Thanksgiving, I don't know what I'd do because school is really blowing my mind right now. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!